play. What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys with another deck profile. This time, I'm going to be playing around with the Swedish treats. Madolche. Madolche is an archetype, of course. That is uh, one of my favorites for the fact that it has such a good range of support. Um, whether it's a direct or indirect, little chains have so much fun doing some of the crazy combos that they do. And this is one of the archetypes where it's a rare occasion that they really don't care what their extra deck looks like, as long as you can include their extra deck monsters. And trust me, their extra deck monsters are no slouches. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get to you guys my build of Madolche, and then I will do the discussion. So, uh, starting off with the monsters. Three copies of Madolche, putting Sessa. Three copies of Madolche, Magellan. Three copies of Madolche, Philo. Um, two copies of Huke, two copies of Angeli, two copies of Mezzan Gelato, and one copy of Pudding Sess. Then I got three copies of Ash Blossom with my three copies of Effect Veiler. That is all of my monsters. For my spells, uh, three copies of Madolche Salon, one copy of Madolche Chateau, one copy of Madolche Ticket, three copies of Pot of Despair, Pot of Prosperity, uh, two copies of Double Summon, one Monster Reborn, and one Harpy's Feather Duster. For the traps, three copies of Infinity and Permeance, and three copies of Madolche Parma May. For the extra deck, two copies of Madolche uh, Pudding Cess, Chocolate a la Mode, Two copies of Madolche Queen, Tiara Masu. Three copies of Madolche Teacher, Glass Souffle. Two copies of Madolche Fresh Sis Tart. Uh, one Hawkeye Fibrix, one Asua the Earth Charm Marine Mobile. Uh, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn. One Selene, the Queen of Master Magicians. And one copy of Excess Code Talker. So that pretty much wraps up the main and the extra deck. So um, it's pretty standard style of Madolce, um, but it does take advantage of a couple of fun things. The one thing that Madolches do like to play around with is, of course, their massive amount of, of normal summons. With the support of their new car, Madolche Salon, and its effects, um, you get additional summon of a Madolche monster in addition to your normal summon or set, so you basically can attain two normal summons. With that also in Toad, you can play around with Double Summon, a really old school card that has, you, gives you the ability to conduct two normal summons or sets to turn, not just one. So, it is a really good concept of how Madolches work, is that, you know, they have their abilities to send themselves back to the deck when they're sent to Graveyard. There's also the combination of all these amazing effects that happen when there are some, no more stuff to summon to the field. And that's something I wanted to take advantage of. Now, it may seem like a really old school tactic, but the thing about Madolche is that they are so versatile, you can practically do anything. You run a good Synchro Engine, you can run a um, setup with Fusion, and you can set up easily with Link. You can do a whole ton of Exceed. You can do crazy shenanigans with Madolche, and that's pretty much what I'm doing here in a slight bit. Except, I just wanted to take it something simple, take it something little, just keen to not having to do so much extra to do so much extra. Um, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. But, yeah, you can take advantage of so many different builds of it, but I want to stick to something very generic. I'm just in a way to at least say this is a palette of what you can build from, and then you can build it yourself. But it still has a lot of pieces to it that can make some pretty good combos. Um, you start it off pretty much like this. You got some of your openers. You can either open with Mufilo and its ability to give you a source of summon of Madolche monster from your hand. You can get a start off with Madolche Magellan, who has the ability to give her to search the deck for any Madolche monster and add it to your hand. Then you can rock out with Madolche Pudding Sessa. This is a um, very rare occasion where we have a Madolche monster that can special summon itself as long as you have nothing in your, no monsters in your graveyard. And remember, you still have access to cards like Huke that can help you with that. You still have Chateau and its ability, so you're pretty much rocking with some things. Now, here's the thing about 
Middle Jane Pudding says, so her in her Cyber Dragon as a fuck can also have an accessible summon of a Middle Jane monster from your deck, um, and then lower that monster's level. So you get to play around with a couple of things, i.e., the princess. Who, remember, princess is a good monster on her own, she just needs an additional. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, interactions. Alright, now, Princess. Now, she may not. The only problem with Princess is she's a tribute summon. If she wasn't a tribute summon, she'd be perfectly fine. But, thanks to the combo with putting Sessa, she's an easy special summon. Off of that, in a reduced level from 5 to 4. That way, you can take advantage of summoning her Exceed upgrade, Madoche put set, Putting Sess, Chocolate Isle Mode. And with Chocolala mode, you can easily take advantage of A, such as summoning other Model Chain monsters, and being able to put other Model Chain monsters back when they're put back into your action, put into your main deck. So, you and Rich have a set of stone with a lot of crazy scenario, with a lot of great setups with special summoning. And that's the crazy thing is we didn't have this post. What did we get? Yeah, because she was. um a curing victory. So we had a like we had to wait a while for, you know, this consecutive support. However, don't forget out who cake or and jelly because these two are some really good starters as well. As well as some really good setups for extenders. Now and jelly, she's your long fire blossom. She can trigger herself and then she can touch some any adult gym monster from your deck. That monster can be strong battle, but it shuffled back into the deck during the end of your next at the beginning, no, at the end phase of your next turn. So, take advantage of that, because Who Cake will most likely be that target, where he can banish any monster in your graveyard and set some Modelche monster to your side of the field. Now, you can easily take advantage of one of Modelche's other useful monsters, and that's Modelche missing Gelato. Gelato has the ability to search your deck for any Modelche, spell or trap, and add it to your hand. But you have to control a beast type Modelche monster to activate and resolve this effect, which is not too hard because he's coming off who or he's coming off of meal. Now, with that all in tow, the numbers may seem a little crazy. But the thing is you don't these are your primaries. You wanna see the three of them the most. Um it's okay to see who cake, Mr. Gelato or Angeli. Um more so the fact that their tribute Banish the summon, and then you gotta have someone else on the field to help extend the summon. Other than that, I mean, this deck itself is solid, and these are pretty much your core pieces in terms of the adult chain monsters. If you don't want to run it, putting sets, you don't have to, but it is opt if you do play Chuck Model mode. Now, the hand traps, you can do whatever you want with them. You can play your Veiler, you can play your um, Ghost Bell, you can play Skullmeister, you can do whatever you want to with your hand traps. But I just wanted to go for Valor and Ash because they're pretty much the easiest setup, easiest to obtain. Um, you can buy um, dual Devastators, Deck Devastators, um, no, dual Devastators, sorry. And then you can get the alternate artworks if that's what you choose to. But Oh, yeah, and even Baylor's still in there anyway. So, yeah, you have your option. You can play whatever you want to in terms of your hand traps, but these are just the two that I'm playing. Um, especially because Baylor uh, is a tuner, so you can help your five breaks climb into stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, Salon is your next card. This is pretty much your additional normal summon in addition to double summon, which is double summon gives you additional summon, so you can play with additional summons of Who Cake, Messengelato, uh, I mean, Who Cake, Magiline. Uh, yeah, Who Cake, Magiline, Mew Philo, it's just because those are your cards to go to, you know, oh, and Angeli, because I forgot, she does, she can be normal and do all that crazy stuff too, but yeah, you get the picture, like, you get all these monsters, you get them on the field, and it's because of cards like Double Summon or Salon, because of their additional normal summit. Now, with Salon, whenever one of those three cards would be returned to the, that you control will be returned back to your hand or something into your main deck, buy a card effect, you can get a Speller Trap and then put it directly onto your field. So you can get Ticket or you can get um, Parma Maid and you can play around with those. Especially because of how good Parma Maid is and its abilities. You have Ticket and its Special Summon and you have um, 
You can't get copies of this card. Can you? No, you can't get copies of this card. But if you could, trust me, it'd be crazy. You can even play around with Palooza if you wanted to feel a little fancy. Um, lessons and stuff like that. But that's up, up to you, like I said. You just, it's just how you play around with the cards. Um, I'm going to have one in Chateau and one take it because I figured the recycle stuff that goes on with the deck is pretty much okay with having them at one. Um, meaning you have. Pretty much, you have your additional sus summon uh, with Ticket, as long as you know the Fairy Titan with OJ Monster, but it's not too hard because most of your, mainly all your extra deck monsters are that. You have Pudding Sus, you have Pudding Sus, uh, and you have Angeli for those uh, Fairy Types as well. So you have all that going for you. And it's still a Madolce card, so it helps out with some things there. Uh, we already talked about Double Summon. Pot of Prosperity is here for some additional support for searching. The deck doesn't have draw power, so you're not going to hurt from not being able to draw. Um, but you're going to be able to thin out your deck and search for your key pieces. So that way your key pieces can get to your hand, and then you can go from there and play like crazy. Because it's not limiting you off your summons. It's not forcing you to... Pretty much do anything except for you can't draw half the damage uh is going on for the rest of the turn. So and then you give up cards at random you get up cards from your actual deck that you choose and they're not random. So um if you can't get this you got pot of you got of course pot of extravagance if you want to play around with that. Um just note that you gotta also be careful with pot of extravagance because you're not picking like you would with prosperity, you're randomly Banishing, so. Um, Reborn, Extender, Duster for Bored White. You can swap in for Twin Twisters or Cy or Cosmic Cyclones and stuff like that. Um, some more Negation and Infinity and Permeus over to Valor if this is your first turn. And then you have Metal Che Parma Maid, which uh, can give you some Negation. You can uh, get you a return of your Metal Che Monster. And then you banish this card to target a Metal Che Exceed monster and then attach a Metal Che monster from your deck hand or graveyard to that monster as material, um, which is amazing. But um, you are locked to only one effect per turn, so do choose wisely. But also remember, this is totally good because you get a negation off of this. And you get to attach a material to your monster, so you can get that putting sass from the deck or graveyard onto another monster. So, all right, we move on from there. We can quickly talk about the extra deck. Um, your queen is your bouncer. Uh, really easy to go into monster. Um, and you're going to be all she is technically their boss monster. You can play defensive with Mo Shade Glass Souffle, or you can set her in defense mode, protect her. And then um, she can be able to shuffle cards back into the deck. Which is a great hand, especially when you want to mess up some of your opponent's stuff. Um, you got Chuck Lala mode, like I said, special summon um, with her. You got, uh, for some defensive stuff for your spells, you can play around with Middle Chase's Tark, who is their only Exceed monster. It's your boy's bottom left and bottom right. Um, and then you pretty much have your sequential Exceed monsters. You have Fibrex for some Exceed from some Link play, sorry. And you can Link climb up into. Um, Celine, you got uh Cerberus for monsters, Phoenix for spells and traps, Unicorn for the bounce. Celine is here in conjunction because you can go for Aqua Vibrex, you can go into Celine thanks to Effect Valor. Valor can get Messenger, she can get Messenger Gelato. I mean, Magiline, or she can get Valor, and then she can help you go into Excess Code Talker for his removal, and then him just being a giant beat stick. So, that's pretty much it, main and extra, and then just a couple of cards that I want to go over. Um, you can splash in your other various hand traps if you choose to. Um, you can play around with Spell Striker, banish some of your spells, and then play him. And then that way you can go into some crazy exceeds there. Um, looking at Chu Levier, who can be a good option there. Um, Nibiru is an option. You can't get Nibiru, get some of your... Your kaijus to play around with, with your gamma seals and stuff. But you can't. I know the beer is probably cheap enough now because you can grab on him. Um, pot of extravagance, uh, replacement. You can try to get some pot of pot of. Uh, you can use some pot of extravagance. You can't get your pot of prosperity, upside goblin, some things like that. You got forbidden chalice if you can't get droplet. You know, droplet's probably a little less expensive. This is just a cheaper option. And then you just got some extra deck plays. Uh, with 
IP and uh, Levy ever. So, I think it's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over everything. Make sure you guys can So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You guys inform of when I do upload some more content. Uh, social media links are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you all next time. HPJ, signing out. Take care.